Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ninja XTX, and I'm back to share another video with you guys. This video was actually listen uh, 52 in my Chairbound a Screamer series. And today, what we're covering um, goes in conjunction with my last two lessons, which will be 50 and 51. Now in lesson 50, I covered attacking from the attacking the low line. Okay. In lesson 51, I covered attacking the midline. In 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 this lesson, which is lesson 52, I will cover attacking the high line. Now I know what you guys are thinking that I did that backwards. Well, when you're differently abled, and especially if you're chair bound, um, going directly for the high line when you're being attacked uh, can put you at a disadvantage because you might have to lean forward to, to make the attack, which would leave you exposed. But if if your attack was close to you first, then you can whittle it down to you get or until you get to the high line. And a lot of times if you attack the low or the mid line first, that uh, would end the fight before you have to go to the high line with minimal damage to you but um i recommend if you have not seen 50 lessons 50 and 51 please go back and view them before you view this one thank you and as i always like to say when i'm teaching knife drills or knife combat when it comes to a screen um, the knife is a very brutal and uh, graphic tool of self-defense. As a result, the techniques that I'm going to show you can be somewhat graphic and brutal. So for that purpose, parental and viewer discretion is advised. Thank you. Now on with lesson 52. Now, let's say your opponent or attacker is reaching in from an ice pick, ice pick grip to attack you. Now, what you can do as he as he's reaching down, because chances are uh, he's he's taller than you. But if you if you have to go to the high line for your attack, um, you want to cut the wrist or defang the snake. Now with a bowie knife. Um, cutting the wrist or defanging the snake is very, very easy. Let's say as he comes in, you just cut the wrist, come back and do the back cut. As you do the back cut, you can actually stab down in the down into his throat. Um, I know that sounds brutal, but as I told you before, knife combat is brutal. So, what I, the drill that I want you guys to focus on today is as you cut the wrist, come back to uh, 
slice the throat. Now, slicing the throat can cause him to lurch like this, which would possibly cause him to drop the knife. And at that time, the fight is over. He's probably going to continue lurching like so. Or he's going to have his buddy take him to the hospital or whatever. But again, the drill that I want you guys to practice is as your attacker comes down in an ice pick grip motion, you just slice the wrist. And it's that quick. Then you can come up if he's still a threat and uh, thrust into the throat. So it should look like this. Okay, so let's see that again. As he comes in, slice. Then as you slice, you automatically are set up to come back to up. And then you can stab the throat or the eye if need be. Because if, if and I've always said this in many of my videos, not just my knife fighting videos, if you take the person's ability to breathe or their ability to see, a lot of times, just the shock and the trauma of that can end the fight. And you can get away safely and call the police or call 911 for help, which is the main point. Don't sit there and get into a knife duel with somebody. Do what you have to do to get the attacker away from you, and then get help. Um, I hope that makes sense to everybody. Please take care of yourselves and each other. One world, one love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account, or if you know how to get in touch with me on Facebook, please send them to my Facebook account. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Bye-bye.